sisi kama waheshimiwa jubili ambao tuko mia moja wale ambao wameweza kufika your governor the UDA governor they have been working seamlessly they have been so ya kwanza ni kukushukuru kabisa kwa vile umetushikilia bwana rais na umeshika neki ya hii chama ume, umeshika secretariat ya chama tunakushukuru na vile tunasema ya kwamba twende mbele pamoja without you kuna mambo mengi ambayo hatuwezi fanya we are here to also express solidarity to support you and your government and everything that your government is propagating in this country we are here to support you shikilia hawa watu bwana rais sababu pia vita ni mingi tuko na makesi mingi sana kotini hata sisi tumeenda kotini ili turudishwe kwa kamati lakini najua mambo ya koti ni vile vile akiwa una ufuko hawezi kusikiza rais kwa hivyo hata kwa hii makesi yetu ya jubili tusaidie bwana rais na maajabu ni kwamba karibu mara nne yote sija kupigia kura twende the team ili contest nikapate MCL Kchogyo kwa ticket ya Ford Kenya 2017 nikaingia ODM nikaanguka tukarudi tena 2017 rerun hata hiyo siku kupigia ile ya 2022 nikaingia na jubilee nikarudi na siku kupigia so nataka tu kuhakikisha kuwa mimi binafsi ama pia watukana unajua wanasemanga if you if you can't beat them join them sasa kama umeniweza mara nne siwezi kubali ya tano so your excellency ninge, nimesimama tu mbele hii siku ya leo hapa hivi ya kuhakikisha kuwa kura yangu moja ama ya watukana niko na kuhakikisha kuwa watukana raundi watakupigia kura umejionea kwa gavana wetu yeye ni mtu wa ODM mimi ni mtu wa jubilee na tunafanya kazi pamoja na tunaelekea mali tunaona kuna mwangaza your excellency sisi kama watukana jubilee tuko wanane na wote 47 MCS pamoja na speaker wetu tuko nyuma yako round hii ile kitu ningeomba tu wenzangu wale wako hapa hivi na wa Kenya wale wako nje tupate huu asula nation tupate nafasi unajua tunalia huko nje mambo ni moto lakini daktari alipata pia hii nchi kama iko kwa hot mimi siongei kwa sababu ruta hata anijui jina watu wengine wanazafikiria mimi naongea kwa sababu nimeongo ama ni, anijui but ile kitu mimi nitaomba tu tupateni rais nafasi hata kama ni miaka 2 miaka 3 tutaona mabadiliko kwa hii nchi kwa maana mimi naona kuna mwangaza kuna kitu ambaye ruta anaona mbali lakini sisi hatuoni unajua wananchi wakati wana ni kitu wanafikiri janga tu tunamalizwa lakini hakuna nia ya kusaidia sisi so tupateni nafasi wa Kenya na sisi baada ya miaka 2 tatu tutaona mabadiliko kwa hii nchi sisi wa Samburu tumesema hatuwezani na vita hatuwezani na siasa we have a lot of challenges kule Samburu for us to be fighting na kupigania siasa tumesema tuta support government agenda kule county uh, na tumesema pia mheshimiwa rais tuta support governor wetu pale uh, ile wakati tulikuwa tunachagua speaker mheshimiwa rais i think jubilee tulikuwa the majority lakini tulichagua tulichagua speaker wa government tukasema atuwezani na vita tukachagua uh, speaker wao na tukasema tutafanya kazi pamoja tunaenda huko cop 28 Kenya is recognized as the leading kwani wale watu huko dunia yote ni wajinga alama moja anazunguka hapa anatuambia simamisha hii mheshimiwa rais we respect the courts but there is no absolute independence where is it written we have been part of the current constitution we know both the letter and the spirit i think all attempts to stop taking Kenya to where it's supposed to go and i say one thing look at the missed opportunities from 1963 to death it's not a mistake continue making those decisions so cc kama inside parliament katika nec will support you because we know you are making good decisions for kenyans and we know that is the decision that kenya required mimi si kukupatia kura na wengi hapa nikiwaangalia hivi tulikuwa tumeenda ijia hiyo ukweli ama si ukweli but we want to say your excellency we have made a conscious decision tumeangalia you are very unique leader because you have made hard decisions which are made by very few people in most cases we make popular decisions but the decisions that you have taken especially the issue of the housing 
is a firm decision, is a good decision. It is, might not be popular now, but two, three years to come, Kenyans will look back and say, yes, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto was right. And when it comes to that time of making that decision, they will look at it. Your Excellency, I am one of those converted. In December in 2022, but I want to assure you, Your Excellency, I will be on the front line in 2027 to make sure that we take you back to State House. Because you will have transformed our country, and it is not just alone. We will come with our team. Do you believe we will be part of you, Your Excellency? And you are not, you're not just saying, then, in county assemblies, we we'll make sure that, and I'm happy that you have been working with the government. Mimi nataka kupongeza nyinyi na kumuliza muendelea ku support president wetu. And I want to assure you, you people, I sit with the president for long hours. This man is working very hard. 4 a.m. he's up, all the way sometimes to midnight. And his commitment to the transformation of this country is total. And he is on it. It's only that we found a difficult situation that was created by the former administration. We cannot keep on complaining about it. We just have to improve on what we found. So the beginning is a little bit difficult. But I'm very encouraged that Mwai Kibake started the same way. When he came in 2002, he found an economy that was in ruins. He introduced VAT, he introduced other economic measures. There was a lot of noise, there were a lot of headlines. He pushed on. By the time he retired in, 27, in, uh, in uh, 2013, everybody said Mwaike Bake was the best president for this country. President William Ruto is on the same trajectory. And Your Excellency, we want to encourage you. We want to encourage you that you are on the right path and just remain focused. Don't allow this noise to sway your thinking because these people cannot set an agenda for you you are elected on, on a manifesto, a plan that you must implement. And you shouldn't allow anybody to distract you from that manifesto. I hear many people say, oh, kuna shida mingi, kuna problem mingi. The only problem we have in Kenya ni madeni. That's the only problem. And that is what has hit my head for the last one year. Because if you are collecting, if for every 10 shillings you collect, 7 shillings unaenda kulipa madeni. There is a problem, isn't it? Yes. Because then you are left with three shillings. Kulipa mushahara, kulipa counties, kuendesha, kufanya maendeleo sujui, utafanya namna gani, three shillings. My intention is that we should bring it, we should flip it. We should be using three shillings to pay debt and seven shillings to kuendesha Kenya. <laughs> and that is my mission. And you see, Rais Kibaki, when he came into office, we were collecting 200 billion every year. Rais Kibaki akasema 20 VAT. That is how Kenya, by the time Kibaki was leaving office, we were collecting close to a trillion. We were collecting 900 billion from 200 billion. Because you can build a country kutumia madeni pesa ya watu wengine. We have to we have to build our own resources. But you saw, you know, because it's a difficult decision to make, nobody wants to make it. Why? We have to change our country. And I am telling you we are going to change Kenya. Our watu wanatupigia makelele sahi, ndi watakuwa wanatupigia makofi saidi, hapo mbele. They will become a reverse.